Luna, are you proud to be an American? What do you think, brother? <laughs> After leaving Bend, Oregon, and saying final goodbyes to Ben before he went home, we were off to our next destination. We did, however, make a few stops along the way. <laughs> go, 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 don't. Don't go. We're stuck. <laughs> okay, so we left Bend, Oregon today and we're headed to Portland now. But we found some really cool spots to take some pictures, so we just stopped on the side of the road so we could get some cool team pictures. But yeah, we are headed to Portland. Okay, so we just made another pit stop. We're about to go get some Instagram bangers on this rock. It just looks really green. But not in a bad way. Oh, that's classic. Lena, are you proud to be an American? What do you think, brother? On a scale of 1 to 10, how American are you? <laughs> 22! In the in the water. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Justin. Okay guys, so we made it to Portland, Oregon, and this is where we'll be staying for the next week. Yep, this is going to be my bed. We weren't exactly in Portland, but in a small town on the outskirts called Canby. There, we stayed with the family of an alumni racer named Caleb that did the world race with some of our teammates. Although Caleb was out traveling when we asked, the family gladly accepted us into their home. We had plenty of chances to talk to the family and hear some of their stories. I thought the father had a pretty interesting story to tell with how he finds ministry in running a company, and so we sat down so he could share some of his story. I'm Keith Calloway, senior, and I'm from Canby, Oregon, which is near Portland. The main thing is, is that we're trying to teach most of our people, most of our, our crew and the salespeople, how to live life. Most aren't believers, some are. One of the things we've discovered is that uh, about 90% of the people we employ don't have fathers. Most of them are recovering alcoholics or many of them are out of prison. And one good thing about them, them is that they have goals and they want to, most of the time they want to fix their lives. They want to do better than they've done in the past. And we're giving an, them an opportunity to do just that, um, both financially and of course in a lot of other ways. We, we want to give them opportunities to be a leader and to see how important they actually can be because it's whatever took them to prison or took them into addiction are not just a series of bad choices. It's a lot of per how they perceive themselves that took them there. We want the Lord and possibly use us if possible to, to root those things out that are lies of the enemy, lies of the devil, and replace them with the right things, which means 
you can do it. You can do more. Then, of course, with the whole goal that their value system then becomes more and more like Christ. And so the example that we are at work actually means more than just being a good person, but wants to get into the life of a person and to understand what's going on and makes them tick. And then, and then uh, wonder what would make them feel like they're succeeding. That, that, of course, that's a long process. That's a lot of conversations over a lot of years to get to that point. But the main thing is, is that I want to understand my Heavenly Father better so that I can be a better father, not only to my own children and my grandchildren, but also I understand that I have other people watching me as if I was a father figure to them. Makes it pretty important. Makes it uh, more than just going to work, that's for sure. It makes each day feel a little bit like there's an eternal reason for it, rather than just going out and doing the construction we do. It's not the equipment, it's not the production that makes it feel that way. It's the guys that that are, that we're teaching how to live better, teaching how to think better. I'm not in a ministry. I'm not in a community to get. I'm in a community to give and to serve. I think it's a good habit to get into to remember every day that I'm not really here for me. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Make sure to go leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. And remember that I love you and God loves you. See you next time.